playgrounds today that were being used were not the public parks. They were the ones on school campuses, weren't they? Yeah, for sure, right? No more hot slides. No. Well, some days. of them might have been hot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do they make slides of metal anymore? I not, think we no. might have learned something, right? The temperatures were plenty hot, though, in the upper 80s out there today, with even some temps real close to 90 degrees in a few spots. So we have mostly sunny skies, just a few passing clouds. No rain out there today, but that will not be the case tomorrow as we do have some wet weather that will be moving in. High temperature today, 88 degrees. That is above normal. We are wrapping up August with some heat. Now, tomorrow morning at bus stops, temperatures will be in the upper 60s. It'll be warm, it'll be muggy, and there will likely be some fog tomorrow morning. It could slow you down, and you should slow down. And make sure you're paying attention and looking out for those kids that may be waiting at the bus stops. We could get visibility down to around a half a mile or so, at least for a few hours early tomorrow morning. Temperatures right now, 72 Reedsville, 74 in High Point and Burlington. You've got 72 in Mount Airy, 71 in the Rhonda community. And right now, Sparta checking in at 67 degrees. High pressure overhead is why we've had no rain out there today. But you can see where the rain is. It's kind of scattered about and broken apart too along this front. We'll look for a narrow band of some showers to roll through tomorrow with a few thunderstorms with it. Areas of low pressure along that front kind of slowing it down. There's not a lot of cold air behind it, but one thing that is behind it is drier air. Yeah, it's going to feel a lot better toward the end of the week to be outdoors. We also have an opportunity, as I mentioned, for a few thunderstorms to develop as this front comes through. Marginal risk, a very low threat, but it's there across the North Carolina Virginia border in particular for isolated strong to severe storms. And so if we get severe thunderstorms, we're looking for mainly that damaging wind threat with damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Tomorrow morning, patchy clouds, a little bit of fog as we start the day. I do think we'll see at least a few showers kind of developing over the mountains by midday and a few thunderstorms too. So that's midday, early afternoon for the mountains, foothills early afternoon toward evening. And I do think it'll really hold off probably until closer to the dinner hour across the Piedmont Triad, but we'll say late afternoon through early evening and then it'll be moving off to the east. So we do have weather impact icons in for that time frame for late tomorrow afternoon evening. High temperature 90 degrees ahead of that. Also looking for your day to be impacted by the rain and storms in the late afternoon for the foothills with numbers in the upper 80s. A little bit earlier in the day around that noon hour into early afternoon for our mountain town with highs in the low 80s. So here's what the radar may look like tomorrow early evening and then we'll watch that continue to move to the east. The front doesn't come in until overnight into early Wednesday. Then we're going to start to feel that less humid air kind of tumbling in just in time for racing at North Wilkesboro Speedway where temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s with sunshine but drier air. Wake Forest at home on Thursday night. Perfect football forecast. It's the 730 kickoff. We've got 77 degrees. We're paying attention to the tropics this time of year. We're watching this area, which will likely become a tropical depression later this week, moving west northwest. And right now models do have that one kind of tracking generally toward the U.S. and there's another wave that is along the African coast. That one also moving west northwest and could become another tropical system. Here is our seven day forecast. Into the Labor Day weekend we go with less humid air, slight chance for showers and storms and a good bit of sunshine and temperatures close to normal.